This week on the Aggie Spotlight, I got Dash Harris with me. I'm really excited. Um, thanks for joining me, Dash. No problem. I'm looking forward to it. Well, um, I want to start out, I guess, kind of in the beginning. Do you consider yourself from Inglewood or New Orleans or just kind of both? Uh, kind of both. You know, I, I tell people I'm born in New Orleans, but, you know, raised in Inglewood, California. And if somebody asks where I'm from, I usually say Inglewood or Los Angeles. Do you think that kind of gives you uh, – Best of both worlds, you got the West Coast game, the East Coast game too? Yeah, definitely. It also helps with the girls too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how did you decide on hoops? Were there ever any other sports in high school or anything, or is it just always hoops? No, nah, it was never any other sports. You know, my dad gave me a basketball when I was a baby. You know, he told me I always had a, a basketball in my cradle, and uh, I've never, you know, veered to any other sports. It's just always been basketball, and uh, it's always been my love and my passion. Tell me about the impact of uh, BD on on your career and your life. Uh, he's been a big impact. You know, uh, ever since I was around eight years old, you know, he took me to every camp he had, whether it was in Los Angeles or it was in Las Vegas, you know, and from there, you know, uh, you know, people used to say he was cheating because he gave me awards and things like that, but I, I really think I earned them. And uh, like I said, from there, it was just workouts in the summer, uh, getting older, was counseling at his camps, and then, you know, we, we do everything together pretty much uh, when I was in L.A. And, and he's just been a, a big inspiration because I got a chance to look firsthand at, at what it's like to be on that level and, and the things that go on around you. So uh, everything I've learned from him, I appreciate and I tell him that all the time. So it's, it's been great to have a mentor like that. Were you sad to see him go uh, get traded to the Caps? Uh, not really. You know, I know he makes a, the best of every situation he's in. And uh, being in Cleveland, he said he likes it. And uh, I think he, he can do a good job at turning the program around. And then with the draft picks that they got this year, I really think uh, they'll be able to make a, a move in the league next year. Yeah, I could already see the team starting to turn around at the end of last season when, once he got there. Uh, do you model your game after him a little bit or a lot or any other players? Uh, what I try to do is I take little things from him, like little pointers, little moves that work, and, and little tactics that they use in the NBA, and I try and use them in my game. Uh, there's a lot of point guards who I, who I watch in the NBA, and I try and take different things from uh, different parts of their games. But, uh, you know, the, the things that we do and, and the amount of work we put in together almost uh, – you can almost simulate some of, the, some of the things we do, so I guess I can't. You can't say that. Fear the beard too. Yep, definitely. Fear the beard, <laughs> number five. I got it all from him. Uh, so you're going into your senior year. Um, I don't want to go over it too much because I know you've talked about it a lot. What are you looking forward to most about the Europe trip you're about to go on? Uh, just getting off to a new start. You know, with a new coaching staff, a new system, a style of play. We're just looking to, to go out and be effective in that way. You know, with the guys that we have returning and the incoming freshmen, we look to, to get started early, you know, start bonding early. So we already started practice, so it's giving us a head start on the rest of the country, you know. So we're just looking forward to having fun also and uh, just going out there and trying to win some games. Do you have any specific goals coming into this season for yourself and for the team? Uh, I want to win. You know, I want to win a Big 12 championship. Uh, you know, and we want to get to the final four and beyond. You know, I, I feel I've won two championships in high school, and uh, I want to win a championship on every level. So I got to win a championship here in college this year, and then hopefully, you know, in the NBA and in, in oncoming years after that. But, uh, you know, as my team, we already set goals. You know, after Coach Turgeon left, uh, we said we wanted to take it upon ourselves to make sure we get better in every area and prepare ourselves for the new coaching staff and, and what they had to bring for us. And uh, like I said, we just want to win. That's our main goal. Coach Kennedy is already preaching that to us, so we're getting it in our minds early in the season. And I think we have a great shot to do that. That's a good goal. We're going to hit a few lighter subjects here real quick. First of all, what's your favorite TV show? Maybe uh, Prison Break? Uh, it, it might be Prison Break. I think that's the best uh, TV series that was ever created. You know, I watched every episode maybe twice. Me and Najee uh, Hibbert did that last summer, so I would go with Prison Break. Would you ever get a Schofield tat all the way? <laughs> no, I, I don't think I would have to break anybody out of jail, so I don't need any tattoos like that. <laughs> yeah, that's like the craziest tat I think I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, do you have a favorite music artist, uh, rapper or whatever? Uh, it's a lot of guys that people probably wouldn't even know about. You know, I have great friends who rap that's from the same city as me. Uh, guys like Scheme, Overdose, and guys like that people may not know about, but uh, of course Lil Wayne, Jay-Z, and Eminem are three of my favorite rappers. Do you have, what's your favorite NBA team? Do you have a couple? Uh, people always think I like the Lakers, but I'm not really a big Laker fan. You know, I like the Heat. Uh, I'm a LeBron and D-Wade fan. And uh, of course, I like whatever team Barron is on. 
and uh, the New Orleans Hornets. Oh, yeah. Do you have a favorite team to play on on 2K11? Miami Heat. Nobody can beat me. <laughs> uh, who's the best? Well, if you're not playing as a Heat, who's the best on a fair fair level on the team at, at uh, 2K11? Uh, I'll probably have to say BJ. He's not on the team now, but BJ, me and BJ played that game a lot this past season, and after that I would have to say Elston Turner. So did I see the other day that you were moving out of your apartment, Andrew Darko was helping you, and you, you filled up his entire pickup truck with, with shoes? Yeah, uh, Andrew, he came and helped me uh, towards the end of my moving out process. I did the rest by myself, but uh, he has a pickup truck, and the last thing I had to move was all my shoes out of my closet, and I was wondering who was going to help me, and uh, he had a pickup, and I didn't know it was going to fill up the whole entire bed, but apparently it did, and he took a picture and tweeted it. So. <laughs> That was my shoes that were just in my closet here, though. How many do you think you're up to now? Uh, I'm not sure. It depends on what stage you're talking about. I got a lot in L.A. I have a lot here. Uh, so I'm not sure. I, can't, I lose count. You probably have to ask my mom. I know it's probably hard to choose. Do you have a favorite one? A favorite pair of shoes? Uh, probably my Jordan 9s, black and white retros. Are probably my favorite. So I had three pairs of those. I'm a Puma, Puma fan myself. <laughs> so just... Real quick, talk about um, how Twitter's affected you, and connecting with the Aggie fans, and what's your favorite experience um, as an Aggie? Uh, Twitter has helped me a lot because what I like to do is I like to let people know that I'm just the same as them. You know, I'm not any different because I play basketball here or because people love the way that I play basketball or people may be fans. I'm not any different. I like to communicate with people. If I see tweets and I have time to respond to them, I will no matter who the person is. And then it also gives me the opportunity to connect with friends in the league, you know, through computer without having to call or text them because I know they're always busy so they can get back to me whenever they can. And uh, like I said, this is just fun. It, it kills a lot of a lot of spare time, and uh, I, I love it, man. That's why people may say I tweet a lot, but I just like to let the world know, you know, what's going on with me and what I'm thinking or what I, how I feel about different subjects. And uh, my favorite experience probably as an Aggie is, I don't know, man, probably seeing this place fill up, playing against some of the top teams, whether it was like Missouri my freshman year or, you know, Kansas my sophomore year. Just It was just, you know, just seeing this place fill up and get rowdy for us is, is a great feeling. It's a great experience. All right, well, thanks for taking out the time. Good luck in Europe in the upcoming season, and fives up. Thank you. Fives up.